according to Brian Walsh. My name is Paul Soka, I'm a Master's Learning Center at IBMasters.com, and today we're going to look at an article that argues that conventional farming could be better, at least in some aspects, than organic farming. Today we're looking at Test 5, Section 1, Number 26 and 27. 26 reads, which statement best expresses a relationship between organic farming and conventional farming that is presented in the passage. And notice it is paired with 27. A good approach here is to, if you just remember the answer, then answer 26. But otherwise, a good approach is to look at the line references, see which one pairs, and sometimes there's more than one, in which case you've got to look for a match. So I've already got the line references highlighted up here along with their appropriate letters. <clears throat> First off, what we get is the title, Whole Food Blues, Why Organic Agriculture May Not Be So Sustainable. It's talking about sustainability. Okay, what exactly does it mean by that? <clears throat> the answer is that a conventional industrial agriculture has become incredibly efficient on a simple land to food basis. So what's meant by that? You might read before and after in order to find out. And if we do read, basically what it says is that you could get more crop per acre for conventional farming than you can for organic farming. So you've got to cut down less forest. Answer choice B, since a third of the planet is already used for agriculture, destroying forests or other wild habitats along the way, anything that could help us produce more food on less land would seem to be good for the environment. And that's the premise of his argument. Answer choice C. They found that organic farming delivered a lower yield for every crop type, though the disparity varied widely. All of these answer choices seem to legitimately answer the question. We've got to see what best matches. Answer choice D. Conventional agriculture makes use of 171 million metric tons of synthetic fertilizer each year, and all the nitrogen enables much faster plant growth than the slow release of nitrogen from the compost or cover crops used in organic farming. So here we see the relationship between organic and conventional as well. And I know that this last part is not a line reference, but it is important to eliminate one of the wrong answers. So we read it. But not all nitrogen used in conventional fertilizer ends up in crops. Much of it ends up running off the soil and into the oceans, creating vast polluted dead zones, while already putting more nitrogen into the soil than the planet can stand over the long term. A conventional agriculture also depends heavily on chemical pesticides, which can have unintended side effects. So we go to Choice A, both are equally sustainable. Right there, you can stop and eliminate. Why? Because the title said, why organic farming may not be so sustainable. And, but they differ dramatically in the amount of land they uh, require to produce equivalent yields. That's true, but both are equally sustainable is not true based on the information we're given in this passage. It should be both rely on artificial chemicals for pest control. First of all, it's talking about pest control. It's not talking about fertilizer. As it talks about fertilizer, not pest control. Second of all, it talks about organic as using cover crops to uh, encourage plant growth. And that is uh, answer choice D for the line reference. But basically those lines show that this is wrong. But organic farmers use chemicals sparingly in conjunction with natural remedies now. Answer to a C. Both use nitrogen to encourage plant growth, but the nitrogen used in conventional farming comes from synthetic sources. That actually looks like a good answer. Now, you might be unsure of what synthetic means, basically. It's not natural if it's synthetic. And we get that here. Conventional agriculture makes use of 171 million metric tons. Actually, it uses the word synthetic. Synthetic fertilizer each year. 
and all that nitrogen enables much faster plant growth than the slower release of nitrogen from the compost or cover crops using organic farming. Compost cover crops, that's natural stuff. So it looks like we found our answer, but we want to see why Anstrus D is wrong. Both create a substantial amount of nitrogen runoff, but the only type of nitrogen found in fertilizers used in conventional farming can be dangerous. So this part both create a substantial amount of nitrogen runoff. We can't say that both create a substantial amount of nitrogen runoff, and that's why I read this last part to you. Because it is talking about nitrogen runoff here, but it's only talking about the nitrogen runoff from conventional agriculture. So our correct answer here is, and if you noticed, the lines that I used to support answer choice C here was answer choice D for number 27. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You can share it with someone who has difficulty with these paired questions, best evidence questions. Is there any question you'd like to see answered from any official PSAT, SAT, or ACT? Leave that in the comments. I'd be happy to shoot a video on it. And click subscribe so you don't miss anything. Have a great day.